Hey, bitch, boy, Camera Carry reacts back with a video for you guys today. Back with a banger, as I say, but this really ain't no banger. This just some, you know what I'm saying? This just some stuff in my community. Now, if you're new to my channel, bro, uh, I'm Camera Cat. I'm on the over 300K on my other channel, Camera Cat Vlogs on this channel. But basically, but this this is for my main audience. This y'all y'all gonna be confused. This is for a whole nother audience, brother. You know, I just want to react to it and just try to just you know just hear this thing out. Cause I've been watching these boys since I was before I was Camel Cat. You feel me? So basically, DF is a crazy like clan group of a community where I used to reside at. You feel me? And they basically like letting everything out and exposing everything, bro. So basically, they finna end it. You know, so um, basically, uh, I don't really know how it started to be real with you. <laughs> I don't know how I started to be real with you, but I just get on my Twitter and I see like Nate X. Y'all probably don't know Nate X, but if you know Nate X, you know Nate X. Like from sixteen, like he just said, you can't see it, but he just said DF down bad. So I'm like, what are you talking about? You know. Just see what he's talking about. So basically, Power DF was hating on a member he recruited named uh, Grinding DF, which is like the guy who was under him, but he can, can surpass him, you know. So basically, uh, we finna go see what Power was talking about. Now, I don't watch Power personally, you know. I don't watch him, but I ain't got nothing against him. I actually watch Grinding. So, um... We finna see what Power was talking about, bro. We ain't gonna choose no sides. And we gonna see, bro. We just gonna read all they tweets. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Who is this a liar? Oh, we got a lot of... Okay. Okay, so the first thing he says, I'm so tired of attention-seeking people. People try to make up anything to ruin my name. Some problems you can't solve. <clears throat> That's the first thing he said. Then he said, Uzi, nobody wants to kick you out of grinding and sabotage grinding. They want to kick you out because you haven't uploaded in five months. They wanted to kick you out because you screamed once a month, and I defended you. Then you dragged my name in the process. It's getting crazy. You know, then he said, I find it very convenient. I always, this widow who start, I don't know what kind of grammar it is, though. That grammar works in mine. I find it very convenient. I was always this widow who stopped people and sabotaged every time, but he only decides to reveal it once he gets kicked. Why didn't he leave if all this stuff is actually true? Because... This is about revenge for getting kicked, not the truth. I started DF four years ago. Since then, okay, no, 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 no. Could all the people who think DF a weird clan save us some time and just leave? Why would you stay exposed to anything once they got kicked? I'm trying to cover that tail. Who did just claim I stalked Pooh's sister and called her hot? Who doesn't even have a sister? And he said, people are going to believe what they choose to believe. But they have watched me for years, you know me. In the next day or so, we're going to find out who the people who support me and those who will be pretending. I appreciate those who believe in me. We'll see. So we're going to see what he said verbatim about Uzi is a liar, a guy from DL. It was like a, um, an old DF member who got kicked, bro. So let's see what he said to Uzi. I really hate you for this. And this is part of the reason where I really feel like DF needs a lot of changes because... There are people in the clan that are preying on my downfall. There are people in the clan that want to see me fail. Keep in mind, Power said there is people in the clan preying on my downfall. Power is the leader. He said there are people in the clan preying on my downfall. Remember Power DL. That boy, let me, before I start the video, he has a freaking audience voice, bro. Like some people just have a natural, like, radio voice. This is one of them. Let's continue. There are people in the clan that. Literally or in the clan, but they don't like anybody in the clan. That they're sitting there, I guess, to get attention or clout or something. And Uzi was obviously one of these people. So if you guys don't know what's happening, I'm gonna explain. Uzi went on Twitter and he just started tweeting out a ton of wild claims. Just to be honest with you, there's just lies. He claimed that I wanted to kick him from DF to hurt Grind his channel. Does that even make any sense? Whether Uzi gets kicked from DF or the fact you just said that, I ain't gonna lie. We got some evidence, my boy. You just you just said, why would I kick Uzi from DF to affect grinding's grind? Keep I'm, that's all I'm saying, y'all. Listen. He can play with whoever he wants to. How does it hurt grinding's channel for him to get kicked? But the truth is, 
everybody, multiple people wanted to kick Uzi from DF because he was an active. You look at his channel, he hasn't uploaded for six or seven months. <laughs> if he look at his streams, he barely ever streams. I was asking one of the people that defended him, <laughs> believe it or not, but people did want to kick him to his channel. Him being removed from the or him being talked about being removed, had nothing to do with grinding or sabotaging anyone's channel. It had everything to do with his own activity okay. and his own content. Okay. But he would never take accountability for that. He claims that after four years where you guys have seen me, where you have known me, that I, after helping have so many people big and small grow mm -hmm. in this community, helping... You did do that now. You did help people. We got to give him some, we got to give him them props, y'all. He did help people now. Everybody in DF grow and build their channels. That I'm actually on some secret vendetta to try to sabotage people's channel and I don't want anybody to see. That doesn't Now that right there is cap, my boy. We're going to keep going though. Because we got the clips, but we're going to keep going. It doesn't make any sense. What are you even talking about? It don't make no sense. And he's doing all of this because he wants clout and attention because he got kicked out of clan he never even liked in the first place. Uzi has never liked me. Why? I don't know. But <laughs> it's just, I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm at a loss of words, bro, because I don't even know how I respond to somebody just making up some outlandish claims about how I'm trying to hold everybody, hold everybody back how? Hold them back by helping them build their channels over years, holding them back by community posts and giving people shouts, by directing people to their channels. Holding people back by... I ain't gonna lie, my boy. You sound like... Over and over and over, this over, part and over and over again. Helping them back that whenever somebody needs stuff, when things like... When Luck literally... Um, when Star and Consecrated, and I went and I went out there and I bought him an Xbox so he could come to Xbox. I how Luck needed El Gato, so I bought him El Gato to help him. Help their channel and sabotage their channels by helping them build it in the first place just to tear them down. It doesn't even make sense. And the fact that people are going along with this false narrative, if, if, if it's even remotely true, just pisses me off. Okay, so that's Power DF, y'all. That's the one started the clan, you know, right? So, uh, he had tagged this guy named Uzi. So, Uzi the one who's supposed to get all this stuff started, bro. You know? So, uh, he tweeted, it's about to go down. Everything Power is saying right now is going to be so funny when everything almost done. And then he says, man says he's going to sue me. I signed nothing. Please do. Notice how he said he never didn't do the things I said he did. Seeing a voice chat of, of him lying again. This is interesting, he said. Power had a plan called Restore Structure where he plotted against grinding. And got mad at a DF minute for helping him record, make thumbnails. So basically, I'm just let y'all hear what the editor for DF said. So this is the editor, and he got proof. Actually, everything you guys have seen and heard today, I promise you, it's the truth. Now I have been in this clan for a long four years of my life. I've seen so much lies and so much fake activity in this clan. Now to be honest, I wasn't 100 percent perfect while I was in this clan. I've had some issues, and all honesty, I have never took it the far extent that power has taken it. He went on stream the other day and bashed my name while I didn't even want to take this public. Now, Power, you have literally left me with no choice at all. Now, when I joined this clan, I was young. I was small. I didn't expect this type of stuff. I thought this was how the internet worked. Now, this first clip I'm about to show you is a little weird, so take a quick listen, all right? Don't make me end you. I have so much stuff under my sleeve that I don't do because I'm really nice. But you know Now, y'all know the one we just listened to like the last three minutes? That's Power. This is him talking right now. I could, I could make so much trouble. You know what I mean? Like, I can initiate so many charge bats. It'd be a shame if your PayPal was, like, very in the negative or... You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got completely... But charging back somebody money is crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. You trying to put this man in account in a negative? You acting totally different. Bear, I don't know. We don't want to get in that because we're friends. But I'm just saying, if you don't cooperate, if you don't... Be my friend, and it's like we're enemies, and I hate to be enemies with people. Now you heard it yourself. He said he would attempt chargebacks. He would ruin me. He threatened. He had so much stuff up his sleeve. He told me as long as I listen, I shouldn't be scared. Nothing like you. That's to be scared. Like I'm gonna do something. There's no reason to be scared. 
as long as you listen to me, look. And now I've seen all the rumors about people <laughs> saying that the editing stuff is not true. Shut the f He on demon time. <laughs> up. You literally know nothing. Now, if you think I'm lying about him not wanting grinding to pass him, listen to this. Then let me ask you a question that you gotta tell the truth to now. Do you think he will pass me before the end of 2K20? Grinding has been doing YouTube for three years. Never, ever uploaded consistently until you became his editor. I stayed ahead of him this entire year because I was able to upload more consistently, quicker than he had. Now that you're editing for him, he has the same advantage I do. So, it's your fault. You guys heard the clip. He blamed me for Grindy passing him. He said it was my fault. He wanted me to make up a fake vacation to slow Grindy's editing process down for a week, so therefore Grindy would not be able to upload. That's See, crazy, man. You, you should have told me about the vacation. We could have used the fake vacation to avoid and slow Grindy down for a whole week. If you this is brother, but this is crazy. I'm saying is what I mean. You need to edit, but you need to become slowly less and less available. And then eventually <laughs> so less available where he decides to hit somebody else up on his own. First up, do the video, but don't do it as fast. Take some time. <laughs> rest. Relax. Do what you do in my videos. Instead of doing it in like 30 minutes, why don't you take like two or three hours? Is that too much to ask? He going crazy, thing, bro. Hey, hey, you in the pockets, girl. Grinding, I mean, power, you in a pocket, brother. This ain't no just arguing like you like you trash or no verbal communication. You trying to take bread out your brother's pocket, brother. You can't do that, man. Them folks got a family to feed. You feel me? That's really messed up. That you will go to the extent where you don't want to see this man grow bigger than you. And you will take money out their pockets, like. That's, that's messed up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Or can you not do that? Because that's too much hate. I'm gonna be real. That's just too much hate, bro. I told you when he hits you up, send me it, bro, and we can brainstorm or strategize about it. Well, you can't. You can't be as productive as you are now. You can get it. You can do what you do, but if you slow it down and then slow walk it, maybe you know what I'm saying. We can affect him a little bit. Now I know you may be thinking. Yeah, I don't even want to hear that no more. This man said maybe we can affect him a little bit. Anyway, grinding DF, y'all. Simply grinding. He says, I'm sick. All the times you told me you were cool and you would never have it out for me. You were secretly plotting on my downfall for years. Luck, had, luck hasn't edited for me since the beginning of 2K20. That's before COVID. 2K20, years of secretly hating on your quote unquote brother. You made, you made my decision for me now. Nate said, everybody knew Power was a goofy. Like, but it's DF stuff going crazy, bro. But how y'all feel about this community, y'all? The community, um, how y'all feel about this, bro? I just feel like, man, it's just messed up, bro. Like, like I said, I ain't got nothing against power. I ain't, it ain't none of my business, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. It ain't affecting me, but I'm just saying, like, dang. To see your, to not want to see your brother pass you, brother, and you will take money out of his pockets for that, like, I, I don't wish that on my worst enemy, bro. You know, it, 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 it can be some people I don't even like. If they doing YouTube, or if they working and they, I would never personally try like to take not, not take money out their pockets. You feel me? Just personally, how y'all feel about that, bro? Beijing way, your boy Cam and bro. I might keep reacting to this beef. I don't, I don't know. We gonna see, bro, how it go. I don't know. Oh, I love y'all. We got peace. That's what, bro. This is crazy. I can totally do.